Hello my dudes and happy new year. Uh, the year is 2020 and what a time to be alive. So it's a new year, new me, resolutions, uh, it's a new decade, plenty of catalysts for change going on. If you needed an excuse to change your ways, I guess this would be a decent one. I've decided to man up and deal with my problems. So I'm just kind of doing a little video blog diary thing, really more for my benefit because I want to set myself some goals and kind of track my progress along the way. So if any of you are already familiar with my dogs, I have two rescue dogs, Sassy, who is here, and Sheru, who's laid on the floor somewhere down there. I got, I've had Sassy like two and a half years or something. Sheru I've had for a year in a couple of weeks. The first year we had him was like a big change for everybody. Everybody was settling in and we didn't exactly know what we were letting ourselves in for with him. Um, and unfortunately around the same time is when Sassy became reactive to other dogs. So we went from having one relatively well-behaved dog that just needed some basic training because her previous owners hadn't done anything with her <laughs> to having these two dogs that are just a complete handful in every aspect but like last year was basically a big kind of settling in period for us like learning about the dogs learning their personalities particularly Sheru um and trying to manage their behavior so we um saw a couple of different behavioralists we went to dog school Sheru got kicked out of dog school and um, we found a really good behavioralist who we work with quite often now and um, I've decided for myself to start studying dog behavior so I can kind of I have an idea of um, what I'm dealing with basically in these complicated behaviors that the dogs express I'm doing that we're working with a behavioralist blah blah and I kind of feel like we know the way now we know where we're going the goals I would like to set for myself I would like to finish my diploma, uh, start going to Canny Cross with Sassy and get Sheru to walk comfortably on the lead. These may sound like three very small things, however, <laughs> they are not. Diploma, okay, that's not so difficult, it's just that it's finding the time between having a full-time job, having various other uh, things on the side, plus um, the two dogs, which are a full-time occupation in themselves, plus running a house, all the things, life. You know, I've done a degree before and I did that full-time. So doing it alongside everything else, okay, I can do it, I can do it. That's the easiest of the three goals, to be honest. That's just finding the time second one taking sassy to canny cross um i always used to run with sassy when i first got her and when she was like the right age to start running i started running with her hello oh what's wrong and she was like old enough to run i said i started running with her and then as she got older um we were doing like really good runs we were doing a lot of trail running um you know long distance runs and stuff and she loves it she is perfect for canny cross um but then she became reactive so i found that there is a local canny cross group to me and um i've approached them i said you know is it okay if we like come along maybe I, if i could come without the dog first i see if it's okay um she's not good with other dogs she's afraid of them and we just want to keep our space so we can kind of gain her like comfort do some confidence building with her around other dogs and things when she runs now she just ignores other dogs um so i feel like joining a group where all the dogs are on the lead and everybody respects your space is going to be really good for her and the group kindly turned around and said yeah that's great we used to reactive dogs come along we'll respect your space the other block with that is actually my own reactivity um sassy is excellent now like when she's out with my partner who walks her half of the time um she's excellent she hardly ever reacts and i think it's 
a lot of it comes from the fact that he is a lot more confident with her than I am. So when he sees a dog coming, he's like, whatever, it's a dog. So then she's kind of like, okay, it's not a big deal. Whereas when I see a dog, I'm like, <gasps> so then I'm like, be calm, be calm, just try and be calm. Well, just, this is okay. But obviously, you know, you can't help the physical uh, symptoms of stress, which the dog pick up on. To overcome my own anxiety, I have started beta blockers. I'm also reading this book, which is Your End of the Lead by Janet Finlay. Finlay? Finlay? And basically, this is like life coaching um, for the owner of the reactive dog. The point we're at now with Sassy is that if she goes out with my partner, generally speaking, she's fine. She has the occasional reaction, but he doesn't see it as a big deal as I do. I would see it as a failure and I would go home and cry if she had a little reaction because I'm like, oh, I'm letting her down. Whereas he's just like, okay, brush it off, you know, whatever. Um, but she reacts less with him and he also gets a lot closer to dogs with her than I do, including she's made several friends with him, with other dogs, that and I can't even get close to a dog. I can't get um, from like the distance over the street that's too close for her when I'm with her and she sees a dog, she reacts. I'm hoping that doing Canny Cross where other dogs are on leads and are happy to keep a distance is gonna do some confidence building for the both of us. So the third goal, Sheru's um, on lead walking. So basically, in November, me and my partner are going away trekking in Nepal for two and a half to three weeks. It's great, you know, it's lovely to go on holiday unless you have a reactive dog and then it's like an absolute military operation just to plan for it. So obviously the dogs can't come with us to Nepal. Since he's been with us, he really hasn't had a lot of time without us. He's never had a sleepover at somebody else's house, which we're planning on doing. Um, he doesn't deal well with change and his his uh, unfortunate circumstances of the first five years of his life meant that he was kept in a tiny concrete yard his whole life as far as we know. He um, is completely unsocialised to the world around him so everything he sees when he leaves the house is completely overwhelming to him. As soon as you open the back gate, he's like, and <laughs> he just kind of, he can't cope with anything because he's not used to having to cope with anything. Everything's new. Even after a year, he's still like this. Come on then, you can get up. True, come on. <laughs> so even after a year, he's still um, such an overwhelmed dog. And it means that when we walk him on the lead, he's like pulling like this. Because he just doesn't know, he doesn't know how to walk on a lead. I don't think he's ever been walked. So he just pulls, he pulls. I've worked with a few dogs that pull, that pull him because they don't, they want to get to where they're going and they don't know how to walk properly. Shiru pulls because he doesn't, everything's overwhelming to him. The fact that he doesn't know how to walk on the lead is only half of the battle really because he's so out unfocused when he's out of the house that doing training with him to walk nicely on the lead it's it's like falling on deaf ears when you take him outside and you try and talk to him or train him or get his attention he's just like nowhere there's too much going on there's all this kind of overwhelming stuff everything's like the big wide world and i can't cope with it and i can't listen to you because there's too much information to process right now so um, training him to walk nicely on the lead. What? Tell me, I don't know. What do you want? What do you want? Do you want this? Okay. Come on, you can get up. You are very difficult. <laughs> so... Beanie, what is it? What is it? Do you want this one? Mm. No? Well, what do you want then? I'm not chasing you right now. 
Give me two minutes and then we can play time. You drive a hard bargain, Sassy. So, um, basically getting him to walk nicely on the lead is not as straightforward as just training him to walk nicely on the lead. As lovely as that would be, it's more a case of um, getting him just to focus and listen to us and not be so overwhelmed by a thing and giving him the confidence to deal with new things in his environment. So we do a lot of something called free groundwork, which is essentially, it's something that they use, it's a technique that's used usually like with um, puppy mill dogs, dogs that have never seen anything outside of their cage. So obviously for him it's kind, it's quite suitable because obviously his circumstances are not, were not as bad as that, but it's along that kind of area of living in a fishbowl his whole life basically. Until hopefully he will become a well-rounded individual who is capable of dealing with all of life's stresses. I know that seems unachievable right now, but that's why we're doing the video vlog. So, so to recap where we're at now, I'm a nervous person. I need to sort that out. Sassy is reactive to dogs a lot of the time with me, at a very far distance with me. Not so often with uh, my partner. So, you know, we'll get there. Sharu, where we're at now with him. Um, he is okay in the house. He's kind of healthy now, which is good. He's gaining weight, which is also good. Um, he's still on medication for his overwhelmedness. He is... Um, I would, I feel like a long way off. I feel like his is the hardest. I don't know if he'll ever be rehabilitated completely, but if we can get it to an acceptable standard where somebody else can walk him when we go away, that would be excellent. So, those are the goals. Finish my diploma, start Tiny Cross, and get Sharu walking properly on the lead. Watch this space for updates. And probably me crying a lot when Sassy's had a reaction or whatever else has happened in the day that has made me cry, which happens quite a lot when something good happens, like when Sassy meets a dog and they get along and I, my partner comes home and tells me and I cry. Who knows? Guess we'll find out. Thanks for watching.